it's not often I get to fit Corby bolts. Uh, I'm fitting them to this knife. The Corby bolt is, when it's finished, it looks just like a quarter inch pin. But when you look at the bolt closer up, you can see it's got shoulders and uh, it gives you a mechanical uh, bond as well as the glue bond. So it added security, I suppose. Um, I'll bring you in for a closer look at the Corby bolt. Right, I think the camera's focused on it. So that's the Corby bolt and it unscrews. And you can see how it's got the shoulders. There, you can see the shoulder there. And that goes up against shoulders that you've uh, that you've um, milled into the wood. Got some funny shadow. Uh, yeah, got some funny light. It's coming from the window. It's confusing the camera. So that's the Corby bolt. When you drill the holes, you've got to drill them with a special, a special bit. And it gives you that, the, it's got the correct sort of shoulder that it leaves. And I've done that to the scales on this knife I'm assembling now. Uh, and once you've finished shaping the handles, when you look at the, the bolt, you've got a screw slot. But once you've finished uh, shaping the handles, you've grind that away and it just looks like a quarter inch pin. I've got some knives that I've finished. Uh, one has got a, a, a Corby bolt fitted to it, or Corby bolts fitted to it, so I'll show you those in a minute. But, um, I'm just going to assemble this knife now. Well, there's, these are the, this is the scale, one of the scales for the knife, and I've used uh, a small press and pushed the. Uh, I suppose that's the female side of the Corby bolt through. They are quite a tight fit. I've put some epoxy and glued them through, slow set epoxy. G Flex resin is what I use. I'm just going to. Uh, Assemble the knife now. Put the epoxy on. All the surfaces to be glued up. Assemble the knife, crank the Corby bolts closed, and also um, I will uh, use additional clamps as well just for. Uh, Added, uh, added security and making sure that I've got everything clamped up nice. Sorry I haven't got around to making many videos on YouTube for this channel just late. Even my other channel actually is... Uh, I haven't been able to update that in the last week. There's been such a lot going on in our lives. Um, we've got another member of the family that's been sadly taken seriously unwell. And uh, I can't say too much about that at the moment. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's not been a brilliant year. It's not been a brilliant year. What with the, the various flipping lockdowns and uh, my two dogs passing away. But anyway, uh, things are going to improve, I think. We're due some good luck. So then that will go on to there. The Corby bolts are quite a tight fit, uh, so you do need uh, a bit of pressure on them. And that will go into there.
and then the male parts of the bolts go through and match up. There's one. That's the other. I'm just going to go and seat them in. Actually, that one's seated in okay. This one just needs a little bit of persuasion. And it's a matter then of screwing them, tightening them up, and uh, they will all uh, pull together and you should see the glue start to squeeze out of the joint. I can see it beginning to squeeze out now. That's always a good sign. That means the, uh, the cord bolts are doing their job and pulling things down. Yeah, that's good. So there it is, all finished, clamped up. It ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs> Just got to make sure that you uh, clean the front edges up because you're never going to get a chance once the glue's uh, gone off. And that just leave that for 24 hours, and then I'll be shaping that and finish. It just so happens that in the uh, it just so happens that indoors I've just. Uh, got a knife for fitted with Corby bolts that's been finished it's a camp knife I'll take you in now let you have a good look at that and then you'll see what the uh, the finished uh, look looks like well here is a said knife with um, Corby bolts this is a camp knife let's make sure the camera is focusing So as you can see, they look, once they're ground, they look just like plain brass pins, but they've actually got shoulders on, and they give you that extra mechanical bond. It's quite a pretty knife this, desert iron wood, O1 blade, tapered tang, with red G10 liners, just checking the focus on the camera. So I know I've not posted many videos on this channel for a month now, but I have been very busy, I've done a lot of knives actually. A lot has been happening. That one's got a home to go to. Another one here. This one also has a home to go to. Uh, this is going to Matthew, who just bought it this morning online. They've all got tapered tangs. This one's fitted with uh, quad mosaic pins. Black G10 liners. Come out very nice. And I did a small batch of three of these, and this was the third one. Um, this one I'm sending out to Frederick. Frederick is my contact in Norway who sends me the Massa Birch. And so I thought, as a thank you, I'd do him a knife as payment and a thank you. It's got it had a mark, a flaw in the wood there, which I've uh, filled. All the wood is stabilised, all the handles are stabilised, apart from the desert ironwood, which you can't stabilise because it's so um, dense. So Frederick's knife's got uh, a flaw in the wood just there that I filled. Let's make sure the camera's focused. I filled and sanded down. 
slightly thinner handle but I think that would be okay for Frederick because he's in Norway he's going to be using his gloves a lot so a thinner handle will probably suit him quite well I'd have thought still got some uh, needs a bit of a clean up on the blade so that's um, that's those knives uh, in the workshop at the moment I've got I think four classic bushcraft knives on the go. I've got some smaller neck knives on the go, a few hornets and wasps, which will be finished over the course of the next two or three weeks. Quite busy doing other things uh, over the next few days as well, because as I say, we've got this um, crisis in the family with my brother in law, who very sadly has had a stroke um, and. Uh, well, they're not quite sure what the outcome is. He's only a young man, 55 years of age as well. But uh, he does have a heart problem. All of Mandy's family, they've all got this inherited heart defect. And Mandy herself, back in the uh, earlier part of the year, she had uh, surgery, major heart surgery, to, re to replace the aortic valve. But she's done well from her surgery. Uh, the brother-in-law, I think he had a similar operation, he didn't fare so well. And uh, a year or two after having his surgery, sadly he had a, his, first, his first stroke. And then um, just a couple of days ago he had another one. So, I'm keeping our fingers crossed uh, for a, a good outcome for him. Anyway, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.